So um, the acute HIV infection study is called the RV254 or SEARCH-10 study. And this is a study which was initiated between the U.S. Military HIV Research Program and the Thai Red Cross AIDS Research Center. And here we uh, screen people who walk into the Thai Red Cross HIV testing center in real time to identify acute HIV infection. And we do this in a way that we can tell if people have HIV infection even before the regular test is positive. So they're very early, they're two to three weeks likely from the time of infection. And so we offer treatment very early and right now we have 164 people in the study, most of them opted for treatment. And we have presented in scientific meetings, medical meetings, that if we measure the amount of virus in the cell, in the white blood cells in these patients, we hardly find any. Um, their amount of white blood cell, HIV in the white blood cell is extremely low, which has not been the case if people are treated very late. And so this is very exciting, and we also have looked in the, uh, in the bowels, which is uh, actually an organ that, that harbors a lot of HIV. And also in the CSF, in the cerebrospinal fluid in the brain, and, and we see very little virus in all these uh, organs. So, so we're very encouraged that our patients are probably one of the best candidates for interventions that could uh, give them HIV remission or HIV cure in the future. Yeah, so, so we know that HIV, you know, the, the majority of people living with HIV live in low and middle income countries. The HIV cure research right now is very much concentrated in resource rich settings. I think this is because, you know, it's so new, the treatment that is being used for HIV cure research are immune-based therapy or therapy that have been used in cancer treatment. Um, it's, it's very expensive at the moment, it's very exploratory at the moment, but, but I do think that it is important for low and middle income countries to be involved, particularly because the HIV clade, the, H, the type of HIV that, that people in, in low and middle income countries are infected with may be different. For instance, in, in Thailand, it's a subtype E. In Africa, it might be A, C, or D. And some of the newer treatments now that we're going to be testing in our cohort and, and others are looking also, such as a broadly neutralizing antibody, may not work for every HIV clade. And so it will be important to really tailor the, the types of cure intervention to the population that is very much in need.